In Clearfield Trust Company versus United States, a forged check led to an important pronouncement about the authority of federal courts to create federal common law. In April of 1936, the United States issued a check to Claire Barner for services he'd provided to the Works Progress Administration. The check was mailed to Barner's address, but someone intercepted it. The thief took the check to a J.C. Penney store in Clearfield, Pennsylvania, where he pretended to be Barner and endorsed the check to the store in exchange for cash and merchandise. J.C. Penney endorsed the check to the Clearfield Trust Company, which endorsed the check to the Federal Reserve Bank of Philadelphia. Pursuant to U.S. Treasury regulations, Clearfield guaranteed all prior endorsements on the check. Clearfield then collected the money from the Federal Reserve Bank and paid the amount of the check to J.C. Penney. In early May, Barner told his supervisor that he hadn't received the check. Barner eventually signed an affidavit alleging that the endorsement of his name on the cashed check was a forgery. The United States didn't give Clearfield or J.C. Penney notice of the forgery until January of 1937. In August of that year, the United States notified Clearfield for the first time that it was asking for reimbursement of the money. In November of 1939, the United States brought an action against Clearfield in federal district court, seeking to recover the lost funds based on Clearfield's guarantee of prior endorsements. The district court held that Pennsylvania law applied to the action and concluded that the United States was barred from recovery because it had unreasonably delayed in giving Clearfield notice of the forgery. As a result, the district court dismissed the action. The Third Circuit reversed, holding that federal law governed the action and under federal law, the United States wasn't barred from recovery because Clearfield hadn't been injured by the delayed notice. The United States Supreme Court granted certiorari.